What's going on guys, Shonkas here back with another video and it's your boy Cuts by Coast. He finally let me cut his hair again. Guys, we're gonna do a high taper. We're gonna start to grow his hair back into the mohawk you guys have seen before. High taper with some color enhancements. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to it. All right guys, let's jump right in. This is gonna be a high burst taper, like I said. So we're starting off with a super curved guideline. If you guys can see kind of the length, the way that the length drops as it gets back behind the ear, we're gonna follow that same shape. So we're gonna go ahead and set in our guideline, bald all this hair out underneath. We'll come in with our shaver and get it all the way down the skin. And then we can start this fade process. All right, we're gonna start off our first guideline with the Gamma X Ergo. This has the taper blade on it. We're gonna go about a half an inch following the same exact guideline. And we don't have a lot of room to work with here, guys. We do have to make a quick transition up into the curl, um, but we're gonna follow the curve shape, go ahead and set in our guideline, and then we can start to work the line out from the bottom. Now I'm gonna switch to my other X Ergo, guys. This has the Fusion Blade on it. Basically, it's gonna operate like a fade blade, so it does cut super short. So I go ahead and switch to this to take the bald guideline out. Then we'll open the lever up halfway and take out the line in the middle. After we do that, we can use our lever long to short to take out any dark spots that are left behind before we move up. Next up, we're gonna come in with the one guard all the way open. And guys, this is still the X Ergo with the Fusion Blade. So if you guys don't understand, the Fusion Blade does cut a little bit shorter. So you guys can tell I'm doing a very small guideline here. That is because if I stretch this out too much, we're not gonna get it done in the amount of space that we have. So we're just barely bumping this line up. Then we'll come in with the one guard closed and start to lighten up the line between the open section and the one. And as always, we probably will need it, but if we need the half guard, we'll come in, take out any spots that you see in between these two sections, and then we'll connect the rest. Now, because we have so much bulk here, I'm gonna to start to fade down. So this is a number three, guys. We're gonna take the three, flick out into the curls above it. You guys can see it is lightening up that line, but not taking it out. So after the three, we'll move down to the two, continue to work our way down until we connect this whole taper together. After the two, you guys can see we have a very slight line left behind. So as normal, the one and a half will come in and take the rest of that line out. Now, once we're done with all of our steps, guys, we will polish this up. So I will work my way from the one and a half back to the one, down to the half guard, back to an open clipper if I need to, until I'm happy with how this side looks. Guys, we will tackle the front hairline at the very end. So I'm gonna go ahead and work around this ear. We're gonna round the back. Like I said, the top's obviously much longer in this cut right now, uh, but he does wanna grow kind of behind the ear and the back of the head in more of a mohawk shape. We will round the back, go up around the ear here, work our way to the other side, and then we can do the taper on the other side. Now 
Now we're gonna start on the other side guys, same exact steps as before, so follow along with the color guide in the bottom. I am gonna fade down the length just to start. Because I've already done one side, I kinda of know how it's gonna act. So we will start with our large guards, fade this down a little bit, and then we'll come in and do our first steps. But real quick, I wanna give my man a shout out, Cuts by Coast, if you guys aren't following him already, he took a little hiatus from YouTube, but he is back, guys. He's dropped a couple videos lately, and I really want to see him get back going. So if you guys head over to his channel, like I said, Cuts by Coast, I'm going to put it in the bottom corner so you guys can check it out. I'll go over there, show him some love. He's one of my barbers in my shop. I have not cut his hair in a long time, and uh, I think I'm going to have him cut my hair next time and put it on his channel. So if you guys aren't subscribed, head over there and check him out. Uh, like I said, guys, he's been working for me for about three years. Super talented barber. He does unboxings as well, uh, tutorials kind of all of the above guys so similar to my channel so if you guys like my channel you'll definitely dig his so definitely head over there and check it out you guys can see this taper coming together he really has two different sides of the head obviously he has two different sides of the head but uh, his sides cut very differently so you can see I'm working at this one a little bit more uh, just to get it where I want it so We'll go ahead and line this side up. Then we're gonna kind of style the hair. We're gonna use the curl sponge and get it looking nice. Then we can move on to the lineup. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of water and some curl cream, guys. It's just gonna moisturize the hair and help it curl back up when we come in with the curl sponge. We're just gonna get this curled up kind of into a finished style and then we'll move on to the lineup. You guys will really see this thing start to come together. Now I'm gonna apply some hairspray to the front hairline to make sure that hair is held in place when we come into the lineup. And while I let that dry, I'm gonna go ahead and blend his beard out real quick. Super easy guys, we're just gonna start with the one and a half, then the one, then we'll go straight to the open clipper, blend this all the way out, and we can start our lineup. Now we're gonna start the lineup. If you guys pay attention, most of his hair brushes up into his curls. And so he's gonna be a prime example of why we wanna use enhancements. He does not like his hair comb down in the front and basically giving him bangs to line up. So we're basically just cleaning up the very bottom edge. It's not gonna be really defined. And he prefers that versus, like I said, combing a bunch of hair down and cutting it off. Um, so you guys will see, we can see his hairline, but he is a prime example of why enhancements help. And yes, they're gonna wash off after a couple days. You know, I hear that all the time, but one of our favorite things, guys, is if you use hair product to style somebody's hair, that's gonna wash off as soon as you get home. So it's no different than that. We wanna give him the best overall look for a finished product. So you can see the hairline is defined, but it's not quite as sharp as we want. So we're just gonna work this all the way through, then we'll apply some enhancements and make it extra crispy. come in and apply some enhancements guys this is clutch card version 2 if you guys haven't copped one yet head over to shankatshair.com and grab you one I just restocked we got black and we got red and green to match the 245 power mats so you guys go grab one if you haven't yet but guys this is the 245 onyx no drip it's basically the black no drip uh, you can see his hair is dark enough I like to use this on his hair uh, and it is just gonna fill the line in nice so we're gonna apply a nice coat of no drip we'll come in behind we're gonna do the get beamed formula we're gonna apply a little bit of fibers on top of the no drip just to give it a little more realistic look then we'll come in and do some razor work and get it super crispy come in with our 245 triple cartridge razor obviously guys this is the 245 green version my blade is fully exposed you guys can see it sticking out quite a bit I like to use that it definitely helps me get in the corners as you can see right here uh, but if you guys are beginners and you're a little worried about that then use the less exposed blade that's gonna be a lot safer but you guys can see we're just gonna stretch the skin pull the razor to the line get the line nice and sharp and I want you guys to pay attention right here on the beard you guys see we have a nice curve but when I stretch the skin I can actually pull that curve almost straight and I'm able to use my flat razor blade to get that curve nice and sharp. So you guys see, we'll work that down to the end of the beard line. Go ahead and razor line the rest of this haircut. You guys can check out the finished product.
right guys there's the before you can see my man is grown out ready for a cleanup stoked to cut his hair like i said i haven't cut it man maybe in like almost a year and there's the finished product guys i hope you guys dig this haircut leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the cut smash that like button if you like the video make sure you guys subscribe like i said i got all kinds of content coming i got a list of ideas on my phone head over and check out my man cuts by coast channel and show him some love and i'll catch you guys next time Thank you.